going on, y'all? Um, we gotta talk. There's some things going on in areas that I don't like. I don't like it. And somebody's gonna tell me what the hell is going on. Mmm. If you ain't praying today, you need to pray because some stuff is happening. First of all, Welcome to Tribulation 5-15-2011. Today is November 15th. It's a Thursday, 2012. Out here in San Jose, um, we got a bunch of uh, cold weather, uh, rainy weather coming for the next couple of days. Um, we have reached day 560 of the uh, tribulation my personal witness and testimony to the tribulation that is unfolding in front of me and my friends if you're new to this channel welcome that means your eyes have been opened and you're sitting there saying what the hell is going on like that lady I just showed you I found her video uh, you know was put up yesterday you know, all of a sudden her eyes opened up and she was like, hell. But, you know, if you've been watching my channel, then uh, you know what's going on. But a lot of people, you know, the bubble is just now starting to pop. And, uh, you know, the world continues to spiral downwards into chaos, you know. And they're, they're just now realizing it. But a lot of people... Been living bubbleized existences with their heads in the sand. God bless them. You know, if, if you've been blessed to where you can exist, where everything's hunky-dory in your life, and uh, you seem to be oblivious to the big picture of what's happening to everybody else and to the whole planet, hey, God bless you. But, you know, that's going to get harder and harder and harder to do. So, uh, today, you know... Uh, the big question is, what the hell is going on? I'm going to try and fill that in a little bit. Uh, you know, we had the election November 6th, and uh, Barack Obama, our beloved president, God bless him, got reelected. You know, how? I have no idea, other than the fact that Romney was a, a loser. You know, he was a Mormon, and I'm not hating on Mormons, but, you know, I felt weird voting for one. <laughs> but uh, it didn't much matter. You know, I think the election was pretty much rigged. Of course, if you're an Obama supporter, you're like, oh, no way, that would never happen. But you know what? Wake the hell up. Uh, you know, I was checking the newspapers and the uh, mainstream media, Fox News, MSNBC, uh, the websites, uh, uh, you know, Comcast News. A headline that's out there is brink of war. We are on the brink of war. And, you know, I kind of gave you a heads up that the 13th meant war. You know, but we got Israel right now fully engaged, you know, with Hamas uh, in the Gaza Strip. And, you know, there's a lot of heat up on the northern border with Syria. And you know what? Jordan is starting to rock and roll because there's people protesting over there. Uh, you know, King Abdullah, you know, he seems to be a halfway cool dude. Who knows? His days may be numbered. And that's not good news for Israel either. And, of course, uh, Egypt is right there stewing away with the uh, Muslim Brotherhood in charge and nobody's certain uh, what their position is or what they're going to do. And of course, Iran is still marching towards whatever it is they're marching towards. But, uh, you know, they were firing from the Gaza Strip rockets into Tel Aviv and they killed uh, three people. But, uh, you know, one thing that the news won't really tell you, but I'll tell you, is, you know what? Uh, uh, terrorist attacks are, are way on the rise, you know? Like, you know, nobody wants to put out that report. But, you know, that was one of the, you know, there are huge distortion fields being generated on a global level now. 
But, you know, even the U.S. Uh, election was a huge distortion field because look at all the people that voted for Barack Obama. Now, if they aren't living in a, a distortion field, then you know what? Then <laughs> I don't know what to say. But the distortions are just are huge, you know. But, uh, you know, one of the distortions was, uh, hey, everything's cool. You know, uh, Barack Obama, our beloved president, he personally killed Osama bin Laden. Even though we all know that Obama is just a stuffed shirt. He's a puppet. You know, God bless him. But, you know, he didn't do anything other than watch the uh, uh, SEAL Team 6 go in to the compound on the video screen in his office back in Washington as he was sipping coffee and donuts. You know, but, uh, you know, what got covered up prior to the election, all hush hush, you know, Romney tried to bring it up, but he just didn't bring it up enough was the whole Benghazi affair where four Americans got killed. They had to fight for, you know, almost 24 hours, you know, savages attacking them, you know, uh, terrorists with mortars and, and uh, rock RPGs. And everybody just sat there and watch it, watched it, including our president in the same office where he was sipping the coffee and donuts when he watched Osama bin Laden being killed. That's how hard he's working to protect us. You know, just remember that. But it's a huge distortion field because, you know, our president would have you think, there is no war, it's all over, you know, because he killed Osama. But don't be fooled, my friends. You know, there's there's stuff happening. And you know what? Our president, our president is part of it, you know. Wake the hell up. He's a puppet. He's being pushed and programmed by, you know, uh, principalities in higher places than him. And, you know, <clears throat> the whole Benghazi affair, you know, why do you think his administration came out with this phony baloney story about uh, a, a phony movie about Allah that some American made? And it totally stirred up the whole Middle East, man. You know, it was kind of not super calm, but, you know, after they came out with that phony story and floated it for like a month, there was riots happening all over the place and everybody saying, hey, kill Americans. We hate Americans, you know. So people, that's another one of the distortions, you know, is people think, oh, you know, Obama projects the distortion where right when he became president, he said, oh, I'm the first black president. I'm going to heal all wounds. And he went on the apology tour and supposedly all the Arab countries now love us. Don't be fooled, my friends. But I, you know, I'm going to tell you, all of us, you know, are being manipulated on, on, on these levels and mass loads of people are falling for it because I don't hate Arab people. I don't hate Africans. I don't hate anybody. And I don't believe they hate me either. But what I do know is that there are people in high places, principalities that have nefarious uh, uh, purposes, you know, and are serving the dark side. And they are trying to manipulate all of us. And they do it by ginning stuff up, by dividing us, divide and conquer. And whether it's nationality or religion or whatever it is they're throwing out there, you know, this distortion field, the net result is to get the whole mass loads, all of us at the bottom, yelling and screaming at each other and getting violent, you know, war. And they love it because, you know, when the smoke clears, whether it's natural disasters or war or whatever, they believe that they're going to be have gained the upper hand, you know, so they're not fighting it. They want it to happen. So, you know, getting back to what the hell's happening, you know, we had the election, all hell's breaking loose in the Middle East because, you know, Obama's foreign policy was no foreign policy. It was leave from behind, which, you know, was basically, you know, uh, foreign policy for uh, 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 mindless idiots, you know. Obama must have bought that book right as he went into office, you know, and became president. He was like, you know, how do I do foreign affairs? Oh, here's a book, Mindless Foreign Affairs for Mindless Idiots. But, uh, you know, since Obama got elected, the stock market's down over 600 points. Today, it's down another 50, and it's going to keep going <laughs> down, my friends. You know, the time to get out is drawing ever closer. And you know what? Forget about it. I've been telling you all the stuff of the old system, you know, 401ks, the stock market, Forget about it. You know, it's gone, baby. It's the fall of Babylon, you know. And if you're clinging on to it, you're just clinging on to a ship that's sinking, the Titanic. It's going down. Get off now. Get on a life raft, you know. But uh, the market's been tanking since Obama got reelected because everybody knows that taxes are going up. There's layoffs across the board. Everybody's laying off people now. You know, so the recession is now kicking in. In fact, we're going into a Great Depression. And, uh, you know, there's still victims from Hurricane Sandy out there. Thousands of people that are living with no energy, 
You know, no electricity in the freezing cold with no food. But you know what? That might spread, my friends, because they want it, you know? And who is they? Hey, that's principalities in higher places, you know? But I've been telling you, Democrats, Republicans, it makes no difference, my friends. They all want the same thing. And that's why what you see in the headlines right now, you know, what's happening is they said, oh, the financial cliff is coming. It's January 1st. You know, well, what I'm going to tell you is they, being both Republicans and Democrats, even though they're going to tell you it'll never happen and we don't want it to happen, they both want it to happen. Wake the hell up. We're going to go off the cliff and nobody really cares what happens because when the smoke clears, they believe that they will have the upper hand and there'll be a new system that they will control and put in place. So uh, it's going to happen, my friends. We're on a slow countdown. We got the 21st. Of December coming which is the end of the Mayan calendar and then 10 days later we got the fiscal cliff you know welcome happy new year you know happy to uh, 2013 and you know I'll get to 2013 in a second but uh, you know the, the the cliff that's coming it's also what I called it it's the disarm America act because a year ago when they couldn't figure out what to do and come to an agreement they made this bill that they passed and they signed our beloved president Barack Obama that if they couldn't figure out how to stop us from going over the cliff we would have these astronomical cuts you know especially in military defense 500 billion which Leon Panetta the Secretary of Defense has said would absolutely cripple the American uh, 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 military machine but guess what that's what they want you know right as the whole world the whole world Russia China Everybody's going bonkers, man. Great time to disarm ourselves, you know. But, uh, you know, there's still victims from Earthquake uh, Sandy. You know, pretty soon, 2013, I think it's going to be a crazy year. There might be food shortages and energy shortages for all of us, you know. And in my lifetime, you know, back in the Jimmy Carter days, there were there, there was energy shortages. I remember being in gas lines back then. And I, when Obama got elected, I said, Harry, hey, here's Jimmy Carter, too. Well, now we're going to find out what, what would have happened in a second Jimmy Carter term, in a second Obama term, which is that the whole country goes to hell in a handbasket, you know. And uh, it's sad, man, because uh, I do love America as a country. It's been a pretty good place to live. But tough times are coming, my friends. But... Uh, you know, what the hell's going on? Just one final note, you know, we haven't even sworn in Obama for a second term, but look what we all voted What I didn't vote for him, but you know what, 50% uh, or whatever it was that he won by, who cares? But uh, look what y'all voted for, you know. Now we got an administration that, you know, where he said he was going to be transparent. It, he's anything but, man. They're all about covers up, co cover ups, lies, stonewalling, lowering the bar, you know, hookers, prostitution. They had all the, uh, the agents in South America that were all hooking up with prostitutes. Now General Petraeus, uh, you know, cheating on his wife. I'm telling you, my friends, that means our government is infested from top to bottom with dark, evil spirits and people with nefarious uh, purpose, uh, 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 you know, reasonings and, and whatever it is that's driving them. But it's not good, my friends. So you know what? Pray like you've never prayed before. Pray for Obama. Pray for everybody in government. Pray for law enfor enforcement officials, CIA agents, FBI agents, whoever. Because there's a lot of dark stuff, man. Because you can't be doing all this dark stuff and say that you're a good guy. It doesn't work like that, you know. But uh, it's just amazing, you know, because the Obama administration, man, uh, you know, at this point, I'd say almost anything's possible from those guys. Because if you've got a president that's lying to your face, stonewalling, and, and then he gets indignation, you know, when you actually ask a question, you say, how come the U.N. ambassador Susan Rice came out for a week and went on all the TV shows telling everybody that it was a movie? that caused the four Americans to be killed. And then the, the president gets all, uh, you know, bent out of shape and he's like, how dare you? You know, that's, that's uh, an insult, you know? Well, it's like, how about answering the question, you know? But you know what, this president, he's the Teflon president. Nothing sticks, man, you know? But, uh, you know, final note, you know, November 15th, you know, we're like, uh, you know, 35 days away from the 21st. I think some stuff's going to pop off in the next week or so. You know, but the uh, the sun, the activity on the sun's been pretty high. They were having auroras in, they could see an aurora in New Hampshire. 
in, in, you know, from the United States. They could see the aurora. That's how much, you know, energy and whatever it is from these uh, coronal mass ejections and solar flares. And I'm not a scientist, man, but the sun is just shooting off all sorts of stuff and it's hitting Earth on a daily basis. And that's going to continue because, you know, the sun has a cycle. It's an 11 year cycle. But 2013 is the solar maximum maxim for the sun so it's just going to be bonkers crazy and you know that's still at the heart and soul like when you see like the tv show revolution where it talks about the whole world losing energy that's from uh, a solar flare you know with a electromagnetic storm uh, uh, like a uh, 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 i'm trying to think what the name of it is but it's it's for a blast that an emp blast from the sun that literally just fries the whole global electrical grid man and puts us back into the stone age and you know what, what we've seen from watching like Hurricane Sandy is that we're very unprepared, man. And if you're, if you're putting all your hopes in the government to be there, FEMA, Obama, whoever, man, do you have your head in the sand because you know what, look at all those people three weeks later where they're still starving and with no energy. They put their hopes in FEMA and President Obama too. And you know what you're going to find out is when all hell hits the fan, you know, God is your first line of defense. But after that, it's your neighbor, man, you know, all pulling together and helping each other, you know. The, the government oh, doesn't descend in on a, a rainbow and make everything all right. It's actually the opposite. You know, the government, you know, if anything, God bless the government. But it's more the rising of the beast because that's what we're headed towards, my friends. 2013 is uh, into the machine. You know, we're going to all have that choice, you know, which is do we separate out, you know, walk the hard path, the straight and narrow, you know, which is going to be super difficult, but God will guide you. That's the good news. Go over to Operation End Times. I'll give you all sorts of information on that. Or are you going to take the broad path to destruction, the lazy path, the easy path, the fun path, the path everybody's on, which is, hey, man, just get the energy on so I can watch my TV and I can keep voting Republican, Democrat, and supporting the system that's horribly broken, that... It's just a pyramid of power where the, the few have much and the, the many have much less, you know. Or, you know, once again, when the paradigm shift happens and they flip the switch, they're going to flip the switch one way or the other. But I'm telling you, there's a bigger switch that's getting flipped because the whole pyramid's going to be flipped on its head. That's, that's the big mystery of what's coming. But if you want details on that, you got to go to Operation End Times. All right. Hey, Tribulation 515, 2011, day 560. Thank you for tuning in, and the tribulation continues. Hey, think positive. Um, you know, there's always a silver lining in every dark cloud, but right now the dark clouds are forming, so, you know, prepare. God bless y'all.